Boss, I want to talk to you about hot shock trucking business loans. And here are 10 lenders that quickly approve massive amounts with a little paperwork. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to speak to you about hot shot trucking business loans. So here are 10 lenders that quickly approve you. They give you massive amounts with little paperwork. Number 10 here, we have the Larson Group. Our score. 6.8 over 10. So when you think about the Larson Group, you want to think about a lender that can take care of you real quick, okay? They actually, you can actually submit an online financing application. You can give them a call also, but when you submit an online application, you want to, they want you to provide your employment history, your bank information, your credit references, and your business, and some kind of information about your business, okay? And what kind of uh, hot shot trucking you want to finance. And what we love about the, the Larson Group is that they have a uh, complete flexibility. In other words, they are they can actually they can finance up to one million dollars in in uh, loans, okay. And but they want to make sure that they understand the kind of what kind of a uh, hot shot trucking business you run, how long you have been in business. You need to provide information about your your EIN. Usually they ask for a ten to twenty percent down payment, but there are cases where they will do the whole financing, not a problem. But the thing here you have to understand is that you need to demonstrate your ability to repay the loan. It's very important to demonstrate liquidity. So, but overall, here is a, a solid player, the Larson Group. Our score is 6.8 over 10. Number nine, we have National Funding. Our score is 7 over 10. So when you think about National Funding, they can finance your hot shot tracking business up to uh, $150,000, okay? And they do a lot of stuff. They do a coupon financing in general so if you need some kind of equipment but beside the hot shot that will take care of you and what we love with the national funding is that they can finance they actually can provide up to 100 percent of a business equipment cost okay there are no upfront cost or down payment required and so you have the ability to use the section 179 tax deduction so what we love here is that the, with national funding they have a fast and easy application process so no cost no obligation application with funding in as few as 24 hours you have a personalized personalized experience okay and uh, what, what we love is that national funding has a, a team of a funding specialists who care about your business so they'll help you out they'll just they'll walk you through the process they'll help you choose the hot shot truck that you want to buy okay or the hot shot equipment you want to buy and what we love here is that they have hassle-free payments so they provide fixed terms and set up simple automatic payments for you to kind of help you out Number eight here we have Wells Fargo. Our score 7.2 over 10. So one thing we love about Wells Fargo is that you have multiple funding options with with the uh, with the bank. The only thing is you got to be a Wells Fargo customer because for them it's really important to have banking relationship before they can finance your hot shot truck. Okay, and one thing you need to understand is that Wells Fargo has a commercial vehicle program that offers multiple types of uh, hot shot trucking financing including uh, term loans, equipment, lines of credit, and standard and open-ended leases, allowing you to find the option that best fits your business's needs. Very important, okay? And Wells Fargo business loans are available for trucks, trailers, and specialty vehicles in addition to hot shot trucks, okay? And they also have uh, tow trucks or cranes and repayment terms depending on the, depend on the vehicle. And so, for example, hot shot truck loans can last from 12 to 84 months while terms for a specialty vehicle can be 36 to 84 months so with Wells Fargo you not only have uh, the flexibility of a large national bank you have also the fact that they can finance up to 1 million dollars so here you have the generosity here in terms of uh, business loans 
and the hot sh- hot shot tracking business loans one thing i want to say is you need to have a relationship very important you got to have the relationship number seven we have first capital business finance our score is 7.7 over 10 so first capital business finance is great for hot shot truck startups or any kind of trucking business any kind of uh, let's say delivery business and if you're trying to buy the equipment from them if you are a startup they'll work with you definitely work with you and what we love is that this lender does not place year or mileage restrictions on vehicle purchases and you may qualify for financing with no money down this is really good now they want you to have a, a personal FICO score of a 620 minimum okay and uh, so they can finance up to one hundred thousand dollars there are cases where they will go above that amount but there has to be there has to be some conditions though so when you think about first capital i want you to think about a lender that offers multiple commercial and semi truck including hot shot truck financing and leasing programs okay and it's, it's this is pretty cool and they, they if your credit score is as low as 540 they will work with you 540 this is really good and uh, but if you have 540 they do have more mileage and vehicle restrictions than uh, if you had a, a higher FICO score so here are the pros and cons pros you may qualify with bad credit startups and business for less than two years may qualify for up to $49,000 no down payment options here are the cons 100,000 maximum loan amount the APR was is not disclosed and their repayment terms are not disclosed. Number six, we have Bank of America. Our score, eight over 10. So when you think about Bank of America, here is another financial behemoth, another bank, another national bank. So you gotta have the relationship to qualify for the lowest rates, okay? So Bank of America offers loans and leases for commercial equipment purchases starting at 25,000. So you may receive repayment terms of up to five years when you secure your loan with business assets and fixed interest rates start at around 6% for well-qualified customers and business borrowers may receive an extra discount 0.25% 0.25% to 0.75% through the bank's preferred rewards program. Very important, okay? So here are the pros and cons. Pros. Loan amounts start at 25000 You do have competitive interest rates. And you have interest rate discount are available if you set up auto pay. So in other words, you are paying this loan. You are paying this loan from a, a Bank of America account. Here are the cons. Minimum of two years in business required, but this could be with if you have the right relationship. At least a quarter of a million in annual revenue required. Again, this can be with if you have the right relationship. And the average funding speed is 10 business days. This is where Bank of America needs to really improve their, their underwriting process because the decisioning process, the decisioning process is really long, too long in our view. Number five, we have Truck Lenders USA. Our score, 8.4 over 10. So Truck Lenders USA, actually, they provides financing for almost any type of commercial equipment, okay? So as long as it has wheels, a valid title, and it's no more than seven years old, they will take care of you. And with uh, Truck Lenders, loans range from $15,000 to a quarter of a million, okay? And the lenders' jumbo leases are available for up to $1 million, okay? And repayment terms with Truck Lenders USA vary from uh, 24 to 60 months for borrowers with credit scores of at least 675. Now remember that you you may need to provide a low down payment, okay? But it they don't specify how much, if it's 10% or 5% or 20%. So here are the pros and cons you need to know. Pros, you have a variety of repayment options. You can finance up to a quarter of a million with application only program. Here are the cons. They want you to be in a business at least two years and trucks and trailers cannot be over seven years old. And you have you may have a balloon payment of 10 to 15 percent due at the end of the financing term. So something to think about in terms of your liquidity strategy. Number four, we have commercial fleet financing. 
our score 8.8 .8 over 10. So what we love about commercial fleet financing is the fact that you can be approved real fast, really fast. I mean, they, they do a great job at helping you or working with you, okay? And uh, so they offer equipment financing for hotshot trucks, semi trucks, tr trailers, box trucks, construction vehicles, and more, okay? And uh, so they don't actually disclose their interest rates on their website, but repayment terms range from uh, 36 to 108 months so that's three to nine years okay and uh, you may not you, you don't need to sign a personal guarantee which means you don't you don't become personally responsible to repay the debt if the business cannot because basically they take the title because so commercial uh, commercial fleet financing has the title okay and they can actually uh, and so if you are borrowing less than one hundred fifty thousand dollars you will not have to provide any tax returns with your loan application either so they do have a very uh, i would say straightforward and very simplified loan application process so here are the pros and cons the pros credit approval as soon as two hours after application you can have funding in as little as 24 hours some loans require uh, no personal guarantee so there's a good pro a uh, good advantage here cons the, their APRs are not disclosed online. You have borrowing limits, maximum or minimum, not, disclo not disclosed online. And uh, as a newer business, you may need to provide a, pro a personal guarantee. Are they? Okay, this is what it is. Number three, we have US Bank. I would score 9.1 over 10. So when you think about US Bank, what we love about US Bank is that you have no down payment to make. Okay, so US Bank issues a hot shot truck loads hot shot truck business loans of, of up to $1 million. So if you are an eligible borrower, you can receive as much as 125% financing, okay? With extra funding available to cover costs like taxes, installation fees, and freight charges. You may be able to get a commercial vehicle loan with no down payment through US Bank. And one thing you need to remember is that repayment terms range from 24 to 60 months or longer. So, the, and the bank also allows applicants the chance to pre-qualify for hot shot truck loans of up to half a million. So this is really good. So here are the pros and cons. The pros, you can finance up to 1 million, no blanket liens, and flexible payment options annually, quarterly, or monthly. Here are the cons. They want you to be at least two years in business. The APR is not disclosed. And the credit requirements are not disclosed, but based on our analysis, if you have minimum FICO score of 600, you could qualify for a U.S. Bank hotshot trucking business loan. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are also having a conversation about hot shot trucking business loans, 10 lenders that quickly approve massive amounts with little with little paperwork. Number two, we have uh, CAG Truck Capital, so CAG Truck Capital. I will score 9.5 over 10. So if you have bad credit and you are looking for a hot shot truck business loan, this is the place you, you got to go, okay? So they are a private lender that offers commercial truck financing to borrowers with good or bad credit. So if you are eligible for financing, you may be able to use a CAG truck capital loan to purchase a new or used semi truck or hot shot truck or of any make or wheel, okay? And CAG truck capital is willing to work with multiple, uh, with multiple credit challenges. So we are speaking about bankruptcy filings included. So this is really good. However, you cannot find much information on the lender's private website on the lender's website rather public website about available aprs repayment terms and exact qualification requirements so you gotta actually call the company to learn more here are the pros you have startup funding options financing available for high mileage trucks including hot shot trucks here are the cons we have a complete lack of transparency in terms of apr so limited loan details available online Financing for commercial trucks and hotshot trucks and engine overhauls only. And funding may take a week or more. So if you are if you are willing to wait, that's fine. Number one, the best of the best in our view, Balboa Capital. 
our score 9.8 over 10. One thing we love with uh, Balboa is that they actually uh, give you same day funding. This is just fantastic, okay? So you can actually, if you need financing to purchase hotshot trucks, semi trucks, trailers, or in other commercial vehicles, Balboa can be the, the great place for you. You can borrow, you may be able to borrow up to half a million dollars, $500,000. Depending on the type of collateral you have to you have to offer and other qualifications or qualification factors. One thing I want to say here is that Balboa Capital wants you to have a minimum FICO score of 620. Although we have seen people actually get approved with a FICO score of 583, 584. Okay, and uh, so but, but the bottom line, if you have a fair credit, this could be great for you. And if Balboa approves your application, you may be able to access funds as soon as the same day you apply. That's just fantastic. Here are the pros and cons. Pros, you can borrow up to a million dollars, convenient online application process, and you may qualify with fair credit. Here are the cons. Interest rates are not disclosed, repayment terms are not disclosed, and minimum one year in business required. Before I close to this conversation, I think we need to actually go back to Hotshot Trucking 101. What is Hotshot Trucking? Because we need to have a clear idea. Some people talk about Hotshot Trucking, they have no idea what they're talking about. So Hotshot Trucking, aka Hotshot, tr I mean, you know, aka Hotshot Trucking, involves hauling smaller, more time sensitive LTL, in other words, less than truck load, loads within a specific time frame. And usually to a single customer or location. So hotshot loads are usually delivered using medium-duty trucks that pull flatbed trailers. Okay, so hotshot truck requirements vary though. Some hotshots need to be delivered a short over a short distance, but others may need to go over state lines or even across the country. So hotshot tru hotshot truckers do a lot of stuff. So they are basically experts at delivering small, time-sensitive loads that need to be delivered within a specific time frame. Okay, so many hotshot truckers are freelance owner operators who own their vehicles and find their loads on load boards. It's really important. So there are different types of uh, hotshot hauls you need to think about. So hotshot trucks typically fall under class three, class four, or class five. So you can see on the screen, here is a class three hotshot truck. So those are medium duty trucks that have a weight limit of 10,000 to 14,000 pounds. So some of the most common types are the Chevy Silverado 3500, the GMC Sierra 3500, the Ford F350 and the Ram 3, the 3500. Okay, so put simply, these are your basic heavy duty consumer pickup trucks. They are commonly used by contractors and less mile delivery drivers, but you can also use them for hotshot logistics. Then you have actually the class three. So class three is really important to have to think about that. So the class three here basically is uh, you're talking about medium duty trucks. They have a weight limit of 14,000 to 16,000 pounds. So the Chevy Silverado 4500, the Ford, the Ford, uh, the Ford F450 and the Ram 4500 are common examples. So these are heavier trucks, but they will be classified as non-commercial. So if you anticipate hauling larger hotshot loads, you may want to invest in a class four pickup truck. Now let's talk about class five. So class five medium duty trucks have a weight limit of 16,000 to 19,500 19, pounds. So common models include the Chevy Silverado 5500, okay? The Ford F550 and the Ram 5500. So class five is also where some of the biggest, some of the lightest commercial trucks are categorized. So the Kenworth T170, the Peterbilt 325 and the International Terra Star, they all fall into this category. So here are the trailer types used for high shot hauls. So you have here the, I mean, the reason why we want to talk about this is because choosing a trailer is a big decision, right? So the type you choose depends mostly on the truck you are using and the types of loads you intend to haul. So you have bumper pull trailers. You have gooseneck trailers. You have tilt deck trailers. You have low boy trailers. 
you have dovetail trailers okay so now let me talk to you about the pros and cons of hot shot trucking because when you think about it hot shot trucking can be very lucrative it can be a great side gig with the right equipment even if you work a regular job that said it's not for everyone like other parts of the trucking industry hot shot has pros and cons both as a career and a lifestyle so here are the pros it doesn't take as large an investment to get started with hot shot trucking so class 3 trucks are more are much less expensive than class 8 long haul trucks and they are cheaper to insure right so the low startup costs are attractive to many drivers who want to strike out on their own but they don't want to haul large hauls large loads rather and hot shot job requires tight turnarounds so you can usually get premium rates for each job okay you decide which loads to take and when you drive you can even set your own rates and you don't have to worry about as anything as much as uh, when you when you actually drive long haul trucks okay and finally hot shot trucking is fun you need you get to haul interesting loads on almost every job okay and many drivers enjoy the challenge of hot shot trucking and take pride in the fact that they are helping customers on a tight let deadline what about the cons here let's just have a conversation about the cons so you, work can be unstable if you are driving hot shot loads exclusively hot shot trucking pays per mile so you can expect a regular owner operated salary and you may also need to be ready at a moment's notice to take on loads and you will need to spend some time down deadheading to get each job each job done so those are things you you really need to think about okay and one thing i also want to say here is that uh basically hot shot drivers make somewhere between uh, 49,000 to 75,000 but we have seen people who actually made $100,000 still totally possible so you can find hot shot trucking jobs and loads on many places through your network on uh, through uh, through dispatchers okay on uh, load boards this is totally possible okay and make sure that if you are trying to find good rates for hot shot trucking pay attention to your fuel cost your factory dispatch services your maintenance your insurance okay and we have seen that people charge somewhere from 150 per mile to uh, 250 per mile so it's totally totally up it's totally up to you and if you want to there are some logistics and requirements for hot shot trucking make sure that you get your commercial driver's license you get properly insured get the us that number and mc number understand the uh, health and safety uh, department or regulations know how to secure your loads properly very important and comply with break standards and regulations this is really important so that you're on the right side of the law let me give you a few pro tips before we actually wrap up today's conversation one thing I want to say here is that if you want to finance a hot shot, let's say uh, a hot shot uh, trucking business loan, determine your down payments. Very important. You want to determine your down payments. Do, are you willing to put 20%? Are you willing to put 25%? Are you willing to put 10%? How much money are you willing to put? Okay. You need to find a truck, a hot shot truck you want and lenders that will fund it for you good thing is in today's conversation i share with you 10 lenders to actually help you out when it comes to your hot shot funding okay you, and then you want to compare loans because it's not about just finding one one lender and say you know i love this lender okay you might love this lender but what are you doing to make sure that they they've got your back too so compare loans okay and you want to gather the paperwork and apply it so the thing is you can actually finance a high shot truck with bad credit not a problem okay for example if you have a, a lender that does if you have a lender such as cag truck capital so that's cat truck capital you are really good at, they will finance you if you are a if you have a bad credit applicants anyway and it's the same thing as you need to understand that commercial truck leasing is another option so if they don't accept you for a loan you always have an option to come back strong okay and basically if you are a startup for instance and you're trying to actually save some cash or you need to free up cash as a as an established business you need to actually consider uh, leasing and if you are also worried about longevity this could also be a great opportunity for you to actually just lease okay and so when we talk about high shot financing we're thinking about they are just giving you the cash to uh, to go buy the uh, the high shot truck or they will give you the cash you need to actually make 
the deposit the initial deposit when it comes to lazing okay so the thing is you have to always choose in today's conversation you sh you you saw that i gave you a list of direct lenders banks and credit unions and alternative lenders so those are the three categories of folks who actually cater to the market we are talking about okay so first you want to start with your bank is your bank offering better rates are they willing to support you what about your what about the direct lender what about the marketplace you know when you have a constellation of loans which one is right for you so the bottom line if you want to get hot shot financing make sure that you check your credit you compare lenders you get pre-approved and you apply before i do today's recap please check out this loan evaluation approach we have a rigorous method on this show when it comes to evaluating when it comes to a listing when it comes to assessing any any loan and any, any business loan check this out <laughs> So much for your attention folks i really appreciate it in today's conversation i was just talking to you about hot shot trucking business loans 10 lenders that actually approve you with uh, generous amounts and little paperwork number one balboa capital 9.8 over 10 number two cag truck capital 9.5 over 10 number three we have us bank 9.1 over 10 number four we have commercial fleet financing 8.8 .8 over 10 number five we have truck lenders usa 8.4 over 10. Number six, we have a Bank of America, 8 over 10. Number seven, First Capital Business Finance, 7.7 .7 over 10. Number eight, we have Wells Fargo, 7.2 over 10. Number nine, we have National B National Funding, 7 over 10. And number 10, we have a True Larson, uh, no, The Larson Group, our score, 6.8 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I will see you another time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.